since I've moved in, one of my biggest goals is to make sure that everything is healthy and organic and friendly and natural and just breeds like a home that I can create great health in, you know what I mean? So right now I have this bleach from Clorox. I am bound from my childhood to bleach, but I have told myself that there's so many great alternatives and I'm gonna find them. So the goal is to get rid of the whole bleach idea and my boyfriend hates it too, so. <laughs> kind of motivated me too. I was thinking about taking these Clorox, just even the whites. First of all, you could buy the clocks yourself and then you can make your own mix and soak the clocks in there and make your own cleaning whites. And then you can add your own scents like lavender, eucalyptus, lemon is a really good antibacterial tea tree, antifungal, antibacterial. So we're gonna see, we got some projects that I'm, I'm gonna be doing, so I'm excited about that. But right now, I'm just, just trying to, I am trying to clean the kitchen because I remember growing up and my grandma being like, no matter what, no matter what, you know, your kitchen should be clean. Like, it matters if your kitchen is clean and it matters if your bedroom is clean, especially if your bed is made, you know, so... I've been trying now, mind you, this don't happen. Like, I am not perfect with this by any means, but especially being in my new space, I'm like, okay, you know, you got to act like who you want to be. So I'm like trying to force myself to create these habits. And it's just important to create them now in my 20s so I can pass them off to my kids. But I just hope y'all can see me. Because I'm trying to use my back camera more on my phone because it has better quality. But what if y'all can't even see me? And I don't even know if y'all can see me. So if anything, y'all can hear me. And then low key, I don't like wipes in the kitchen. Like I like wipes in the kitchen, but I feel like, I don't know, something in my spirit. I just be feeling like you need that spray and that cloth. I don't know. But wipes, they get the job done. That's just like my ick about it all. I'm trying to get one of everything for y'all so I can show y'all. Look at this. Can y'all see this? Oh, I just love the way they look. They're just so clean. I think this is a 40 piece. Two kinds of forks, two kinds of spoons, knives. <clears throat> five, five. But, but it's a 40 set. So there's eight of each. So yeah. So what I need to do is wash all this. Do y'all like that sound? Or is it cringe? It's like cringe and I like it. Remember the little bowl I just showed you that also had that line pattern? I'm so into that. I love these. This is such high quality. Oh. So 
So I have come to the end of the road when it comes to the kitchen. Slowly I've been getting it together. I haven't been like rushing myself to do it all at one time because one, I don't want to do it all at one time. And I feel like it takes time. It takes time to build a home. Home was not built in a day. It never could ever have been. So my teapot. I actually got this from my grandma and it's so crazy because when I used to go to her house I used to always tell her like oh I love this I want this I want this I want this I want this it's like electric it's really nice I like it and there's like multicolor lights at the bottom when it's boiling so it's really cute and she never gave it to me and now I have it <laughs> so I'd be so like because I'm like I got the teapot <laughs> I really want to get a juicer because I know that juicing is such a good way to one maintain your weight but also just be getting in that nutrients from the different fruits and veggies that you're juicing like getting just the raw juice nutrients down to the very nitty-gritty fruit of it all so I'm like I need to be doing that. I watched my grandma lose so much weight. She went on like this diet. I wouldn't even say a diet. She just incorporated nothing but vegetables and fruits in her diet. No meat. And she would juice everything. And when I tell you she was giving slim thick, I was like, okay, grandma, you outside. Like, I'm not mad at it. So I know, especially when it comes to that gut health, I'm like, oh yeah. Where is the juicer? When I find the juicer at my grandma's house or the day that I get a juicer, it's over with. It's over with. like I have a couple more things to do so I'm trying to be disciplined this needs to get washed so I've been trying to consolidate these tubbleways because right now I have my new pot set and a little bit of an old pot set and these but I'm like where where can I store these? You know, this is getting washed. This is already clean. That should probably go down here. So it's fun because you're trying to figure out where everything goes. And then I'm like, do I put my cutting board, my wooden cutting board? Do I put it on the counter? But I don't want to do that and lose space. So I'm like, how am I going to, where am I going to put my wooden my wooden cutting board. I'm like, do I get something to hang? But who's gonna reach up there every time they want a cutting board? This is gonna be this. Y'all, so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. But for right now, everything generally has its own place which is so great like that's just what I want especially when I'm moving in I don't want the kitchen to be too crowded and it's just uh you want to wake up and be able to cook and like in peace you know so that's just what I'm trying to do for right now is just create a nice place of peace eventually I want to come out Ooh. It. eventually I want to consolidate this and find like a really nice set to put all these in the pots that I have I can't use metal so I'm going to have to replace some of this anyways um, I do like these this texture that bendable spatula texture versus like a wooden but um, I can use wooden on my pots too so I'll probably keep the wooden in these ones 
But I still want to find something that's a lot more sleek. I don't know what color, but just something. We're going to figure that out. But that's a project, too, because this is terrible to me. And then my shot glasses. I actually got this in Chicago. It was, it was a set of four. I only have three now. But, y'all, you can go to the liquor stores, and they have really dope, different design shot glasses. And you can buy your shot glasses right there that are really cool, really unique, and you probably won't see them anywhere else but the liquor store. So if you're looking for stuff like this, go to the liquor store. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be in the liquor store again trying to see what else they got. But Amazon got these that I really, really want. Um, and they're so cute. I'm like, Amazon at this point has taken over the game. He did his biggest one with Amazon. I love these things. Like these are what I like to clean the counters with like a nice spray and these fire. And then you can rewash them too. You know, I think those you can get at Walmart for maybe two or three dollars and you'll probably get maybe 15, 20 wares out of it. I need to clean this and I might as well do it because these things get so much less open that I don't like too much. This one right here in the back. But guys, I've been, we've been tearing these down. These are so good. They're from Trader Joe's. Gyros, guy, gyros, Why do we sell gyro? Like, they don't even look like gyros. I need some way to hang up my like cleaning counters rag versus like my washing dishes rag, you know, just to keep the sanitation going. I like when the kitchen has like pops of color. That's like so cute. I love that. I just love doing this. I love making homes. I mean, I feel like women are like bred to make a home, you know? It's biblical. But it's really fun for me. I like it. And like, I just grew up with my grandmother and my mom who like were such HGTV girlies. So I just fell in love with the whole idea. Now, I'm going to tackle this. Can y'all see me? One of my boyfriend's cousins gave him this. This is fire. I like that. And I think she actually wrote it. This is a real solid 
quote piece and you know we're quote people if you know you know <laughs> these are the glade ones so i need to go to like dollar general dollar general always has good plugins for real cheap y'all so do that because i'm on my zoom at 10 and i've been like really getting more into diffusers because i'm just like they're healthier um even the air fresheners and candles so i'm trying to like transition i have a diffuser but i can't find the cord so i'm like oh i gotta find this cord i know i have it somewhere i have to <laughs> and i got it from grandma so i'm like i gotta find it come on now we're not doing that we're not doing that so. y'all have to help me find the clothes what should i do like I don't know, like, I want to do a quote that is, goes with the season that I'm in. Oh, it literally came to me. Too much is given. Much is required. But I, like, I like to do this thing where whatever the quote is, I say the first part, you know? And I find that it's kind of a conversation starter. People are like, oh, like, what does that mean? Like, what's the rest of it? You know? So this is how I need to do it. You just have to make it in here. Is it getting studio? I think it's getting studio. Yeah, that's crazy. Is it getting studio? Don't look. 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 And I love that. I need to get another remote for this. But I love how I can make it taller or shorter. So they say when you're taller, you want the camera to be a little oh, that was the wrong thing. You want the camera to be a little bit taller or angled up or down to make you look a little shorter. Same for short people. Angle it down to make them look taller. Just slightly. Y'all, you know, there's angles, there's levels too. Okay, here we go. I think this is the one that makes it look taller. Because I was like, oh, like, I'm leveling up. Like, what? I don't even read hardly as much as I should. Let's be, be, let's be for real. But I know that I have so many great books. And I really do want to make an effort now to read them a lot more, you know? Ooh, especially because I plan on being home a lot more. So. Oh, books are heavy now. Don't get it confuzzled, confused. Oh, and I have a lot, yo. Like, a lot. I need to figure out what to do with this computer that I have. This was the first Mac I ever bought, y'all. I still have it. I feel like I could do something with it. I don't know what, though, yet. But... I'm holding off on getting rid of that COVID test. The best author in the world, according to my grandmother. And I haven't even read this book fully, so that needs to be like next. <laughs> oh, see, another great classic. I know why the cage bird sings. And I love this, this book because just the title is so like powerful. I know why the cage bird sings. Think about a cage bird. Like you wouldn't think a cage bird would sing. Because it's caged, it's it's being bounded, you know, it's sad, it's not able to be free or have autonomy. But this cage bird this cage bird sings. It still sings, it still gives a joyful noise. Why? Shout out to this book, Kamari. 
I got this when I graduated college and she wrote me a beautiful note. I love Kamari. I'm gonna tag her. She's amazing. Y'all go follow her. If you're in the California area, she is a hairstylist too and she's fire. She's been doing my hair since I was 17 years old and I'm 27. So it's giving longevity. Check it out. Shout out to the person that gave me this gift. It's called God Discerning the Voice of God. How to recognize when God is speaking. Which is a very important journey, you know? Hearing God and being able to, like, have that communication with him. Huh. Oh, I remember this. I have to use this. My essential oil recipe book. I remember I bought this right before I came out to um, Chicago. Good notebook. Wow, I had a lot of good notebooks. The Bible. I got this Bible, y'all, when I was in high school, I think. That is so crazy. Wow. The ones you want to stand out, you put them around the taller ones if they're short and if they're short put them or if they're tall put them around short ones it's like because you want to offset the difference so you can tell which one is like different if that makes any sense i don't know where i got this but when i tell you it was a big cop and i was like absolutely it's natural standard urban supplement handbook the clinical bottom line what i feel like like what like get in two get in two get in two this book is so dope i actually had to read this while i was in college freshman year it's called authentic happiness how to have a new positive philosophy i should read that book i think this shelf is going to be all the books i want to read sooner than later yes Another great notebook. Oh, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. First of all, just the title got me. I was like, I gotta read this. The girl who kicked the hornet's nest. And it's a series of them too. So I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, God don't play. Good book. Ooh, the Quran. I actually got this in a chicken store in Chicago. My mom, when she deployed, she got a copy of the Quran. And so I just wanted a copy too. So, well, it's the clear Quran, a thematic English translation of the message of the final revelation. more notebooks manifest book oh yeah okay you love that gotta keep those Ooh, sister soldier the coldest winner the coldest winner ever they said this book is fire haven't even even attempted to read it This book at school, Grey's Anatomy. It's one of the more original versions. I just thought it was really dope. So I just wanted to keep it. I was like, ooh, I just want a copy of Grey's Anatomy and I love the show. Like, what? <laughs> the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. I'm telling you, I inherited so many great little books. Coming soon. The Universal and organ remedies. Abnormal remedies. Whoa. Organ remedies. Interesting. I wonder where I got that. I should give away some of these books. If you guys like any of these books, or if you're interested in one of my natural herb supplement books, let me know. I don't mind sending it over. Oh! 
Shady Baby. I had to get this because one, Megan, Ga Megan, Gabrielle Union is my favorite. And she came out with a book with her daughter called Shady Baby. And I am just in love. So I had to get it. We love Shady Baby. I got another anatomy book. Egg rolls that I'm making right now, they look so good. And then this is the sausage. Look at that finish on the plate. I love these plates. They're so nice. Ugh. I'm gonna put it right here, but I think eventually I want to like put it up and stuff. Uh, so I'm cooking. I'm about to make some broccoli, but I just love how this handle detaches, y'all. Look at this. This is so dope to me. And then I can just retouch it and do what I need to do. I took some oil from the potatoes and I'm seasoning them right now. And then we're going to go I give it a little bit. That we're having tonight broccoli onions mushrooms with rice potato slices these are so good oh my goodness potato slices and then a salmon i'm gonna try to get a better angle yes i love this look at this this is so good yes and then we have some hot wings that i'm baking right now so we're also gonna have chicken hot chicken wings which kind of offsets it, but also makes it. Because, I mean, hot wings just make everything better. So we're eating hot wings with our beautiful, healthy plate tonight. No, we're eating hot wings. I will not eat hot wings by myself. Hot wings on salmon, baby. Yeah, absolutely. It's called chicken hot wings. Yeah, I'm not eating hot wings. So we're giving a little surf and turf tonight. I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys how it tastes. Always remember your promise to me. Never let nobody or nothing turn you into no criminal. So I did what Target is known for: go in there, needing one thing, didn't even grab what I needed. Ended up getting other stuff. Don't mind my moo moo, my house dress. Just act like that doesn't exist. But I got this case cover for my macbook and i thought it was so cute it was only a couple of dollars so i was like okay steal but i just love that pattern on it i think it's so pretty so i got that i got some more glade plugins because i want to put them all around the house and then I got the scent for it. I love the Aqua Wave. That's my favorite. If you haven't tried the Aqua Wave, it's giving you're on vacation, but you're not on vacation. I got four of those. And then I wanted to try this Vanilla Embrace Sheer 
vanilla embrace it makes me feel like it's gonna smell like uh what is it i think it's called warm cashmere from um bath and body works so i want to try that and see how that smells and then I got these cute leggings. I'm going to try them on at some point, probably this weekend for you guys. But I got these cute shorts. They were on sale 30%. And then I got these leggings. But they're leggings with the flare at the bottom, which I'm so excited for. And they're extra small. They're supposed to be, like, really nice and booty hugging. So... And then I need to go back to Target because I picked up another Mac charger and I also grabbed another one of the cords for the Mac charger because I lost mine coming home from Maryland when I went to my little brother's graduation recently. So I don't have that. So yeah, I'm trying to get back on my back on my back on, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I'm about to eat some food, relax, and just relax and eat some food. And I'll talk to you guys probably when I get in the office because I have some stuff I wanna to plan tonight um, for what's coming up this weekend, next week, all that. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Drop Pulling a dope in the crop pot. Fucking on your bitch, she had that. Pulling a dope in the crop pot. Buckets on buckets on buckets on buckets. I'm riding around with a group. I take a bitch like from you. Bitch, I'm a dog root. Be that whole wall loose. Bitch, I'm a dog root. Tough when you see me. Tell me how you love my body. How to make you feel, baby. You wanna roll with me. You wanna hold me. You wanna stay warm and get out of the cold. I just love to hear you say it. Makes a man feel good, baby. Tell me you depend on me. I need to hear it. What do you mean, like, when I'm ready to eat? Yeah. Okay. Should there be two plugins in the office? Okay, so this is the working progress of this shelf that's, like, in the dining room slash living room area. I kind of fixed it up based off y'all's suggestions. I put the wooden thing down at the bottom and then the giraffe now this is the one that was in question i don't know what i'm gonna end up putting in this and this is like a cute little candle and then this is like i think like some type of oil thing that i can put oil in i don't know what to do with that yet and then this is my favorite piece i just love that and then i have this up here that i made at kamani's birthday pottery class shout out to kamani so I'm keeping there, that there for right now. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me show you. I think it's cute. I think it's cute for right now. Like, I like it. I like it, I like it. I like it. Tell me what y'all think. If y'all like it or not. Whoa, 
And I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. There's this moisturizer from Clinique that if I put it on my chin, on my, like, this part down, it moisturizes. Don't break out. Perfectly fine. But if I put that specific moisturizer on my forehead, I always get acne in the same spot. If I do get acne. Right there. So I have to let that moisturizer go and get a new moisturizer. There's some that I've been wanting to try. So, yeah. But anyways, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is a combination kind of of the past week and me moving in, me trying to get everything together, washing stuff, cleaning stuff. What's goody? Y'all. I just talked to my mom and I just want to speak on this because this is real and this is raw and God is so real because a lot of us have mom hurt and I have mom hurt. I come from a mom who was always doing the best she could do, but there was some disconnect between the both of us, you know, and I feel like there's different spaces for me to go more into that. But the point that I want to make right now is look, mom trauma will get better. You're her baby. You're the reason she became a mother. You're the reason why she lives. It will get better. It takes time. It's not perfect. You don't know when and what to what rhyme that it gets better, but it gets better. It gets so much better. And I'm so thankful for God, because I know that God is the only person that can make those type of things happen. You're going to be okay, okay? It might not be okay right now, but just hold on, because your mom trauma, it will get better. It will. 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 I claim it. Amen. Amen. Have you guys seen, I haven't even sh officially showed you guys my nails. They're so bad. So first of all, all these are my nails. All these are my nails that I grew out for nine months. But then time and labor and especially, yo, when I moved into my new apartment, it was over with for my nails. So I am basically cutting all these down. Just cutting them down and I'm restarting because what's well, nine months, right? I'm never mad about nine. Nine. Nine months is not that bad. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We are on to another weekly vlog. So this week I have a lot planned. A lot of things that I still need to get done on the house. And I'm like been trying to move a lot faster with getting everything done because I just want to be done. You know, so I got some Amazon packages in. I've been getting Amazon packages every week, almost every day since I moved in. Y'all know how that go when you first move into the crib and like you just got all these packages. So I am going to open up this with you guys. Now, spoiler alert, I'm not pregnant, <laughs> but one of my greatest friends from college, she is. She's having a baby shower to celebrate her new baby boy. So I ordered some games for the baby shower. And so I'm just going to unbox this with you guys because I think this is so cute. And I just love baby energy, right? So I just want to show you guys. So the little game kit comes with little table ornaments. So this is like a little baby pacifier. That is so cute. So they give you a bag of that. Alright, and then they give you like little paper clips. I don't know specifically what I'm going to use these for, but we're going to figure that out. And then I plan to take you guys with me to the baby shower so you guys can see everything. 
this is a measuring tape for one of the games it's guessed the size of mommy's tummy so this is a um, this is one of the game things this is actually one of the door prizes too oh wow so these are the pins for the games the pins are so small. They are literally like, they are so small, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if my camera will let me show you. But it says it's a boy. But these are so miniature. Like, they're like literally the length of my hand. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Well, thank God that uh, yesterday I got some pins that I had already ordered in, like normal size pins, because this is interesting. And you know what's so crazy? I, something in my spirit said, get another bag of pins, and thank God I did. All right, this is the guest, the size of mommy's tummy poster. Okay, and this is like some answering keys for the games that we're going to be playing. Baby shower emoji game. Celebrating baby names. You have to match up the baby name with the celebrity. It's just like a whole stack. A whole stack of the game parts. <coughs> Just a whole stack of the game cards, which is really dope. There is eight different games with 50 cards per game, so that's a lot of games to play. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yep. Got the tummy measuring, mini clipboards, pacifiers, two complimentary pins. I'm so excited. My friend is having a whole baby out here. Like, what? What are you doing? Ugh. And I also got this cord that I use on my computer when I'm creating. So I'm happy that I found that because it's so much easier to connect my MacBook to my phone and transfer all my content to make my videos than it is trying to like airdrop. So if you're a creator and you have a computer, but like it takes a long time for you to transfer everything to your computer or you know, it's just be giving you problems, get a cord that has the USB-C or whatever connector piece goes into your computer with your phone charger piece so that you can transfer that information. It saves so much time. I'm so happy that I thought about this and invested in this because it's cut down my like transfer of files. It's cut it down like 70 to 80%, like most of it. So I'm like, oh, absolutely. I will always keep this in the deck, especially if I have a MacBook, always keeping this in the deck. This is one of my Amazon favorites, if you didn't know. All right, I finished unboxing this. Everything that I have um, for the baby shower, I've been putting, um, I've been putting in the office and just kind of keeping it out the way. So yeah, I'm gonna put that up. I will catch you a little bit later. I'm gonna be going in the office doing some work, and I want to show you guys some things. So we're gonna do that there. Okay. 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 I'll see you guys in a bit. dress 
so sexy. So sexy. It's like, please. So I'm actually trying to transition out of plastic hangers to velvet, giving girl woman. So that's one of my goals right now. person if I can't identify if it's clean or dirty I'm gonna just clean it you know what I mean because like I just don't have time for it I just yeah I'm just gonna clean it <laughs> I got this hat during St. Patrick last year if you know you know good times I had a good time that night Ooh. I forgot I had an atlas I so forgot I had an atlas. That's so dope. I'm gonna put this in the office. <sighs> Will it fit? Is this a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm y'all. I don't know. I'm sure I can find a good place for this, like in the living room or something, maybe. So I'm gonna put this here for now, if I can. Well, we're gonna come back to this. So this is gonna get moved. But I'm just gonna put it right here for right now. So I know where to get it. Would you believe one day I actually needed crutches? Because I fell on my butt. These are some old shoes that I've had that I've used to rock. I don't even know if these are worth me saving or if I should just let these go. 
I don't know. I think I should let them go. Just moving on. I don't even know what size they are. Three and a half. Technically they fit, but nope. I'm gonna trash these. I got this in college. This is basically what I looked like freshman year. And a cartoonist came to Xavier, my undergrad, and drew everybody. Look at that, 2014. I was still a freshman. It was around homecoming. Wow, look at that. Me and my big pup. <laughs> I have to frame this. This has to go up somewhere. I'm going to keep this. I love this. We actually have a running kind of area of stuff that we want to frame. So I actually will keep this right here because I know we want to frame all of this. All of that. All of this. I need like something that I can contain all this in a little bit better because I want it to be more plush and just kind of put together everything organized and no no loose cords I don't like that